whatever the content which is present in the matter those things will consider as mass the points are moving to left which will be having positive sign when the decimal point is moving to right it will be having negative sign the gravitational force will be exerted on the object what we are considering so it is not a constant it will be varying hello everyone this is harshita bhava sir from vidya shram pu college temple of excellence in mysore so today we shall start up with the second session of the chapter some basic concepts of chemistry okay in the last class we have discussed about the basic concepts of the chemistry in the part of introduction and in the introduction branches of chemistry and what is chemistry importance of chemistry those things we have seen next importance and scope of chemistry what is matter mixture pure substances and its classification units of measurement okay these are the things we have discussed in the last session in this session we will discuss about mass and weight volume density temperature and scientific notation and conversion of scientific notation precision versus accuracy and significant figures first we will discuss what is mass and weight what is mass it is the amount of matter present in it the mass of a substance is always constant if we take any substance the whatever the atoms or molecules present in it that content will consider as mass the amount of matter present in the substance okay the overall whatever the atoms molecules or ions whatever the content which is present in the matter those things will consider as mass that mass will be always constant okay weight it is force exerted by gravity on object it may vary from place to place due to change in gravity mass will not change because for mass we are considering the inside about the atoms and molecules but weight means it will be exerted by the gravitational force one place may having some gravitational force and another place will be having different kind of gravitational force that time the weight will be varied or changed okay the gravitational force will be exerted on the object what we are considering so it is not a constant it will be varied that is the difference between mass and weight mass will be always constant weight will be changes on the changes due to the place to place due to gravity okay next we'll consider volume it means the space occupied by matter volume when we will consider as volume for the liquid state of matter right for the liquid state of matter what will the freedom of movement will be little bit free that time it will occupy the container space and it will have a shape of that container so these are the objects we will use in laboratory chemical laboratory we will use this one this is burette this is graduated cylinder and pipette volumetric flask okay for the usage the volume to measure these things we will use okay and this will be having graduation that's why we will call graduated glassware and this is volumetric glassware for the calibration mass calibration means the perfect amount if you want means we have to use this pipette volumetric flask this will be having accurate range and this is will be precisely range will be having okay this is about the volume volume once again volume means space occupied by the matter okay next density it is defined as the amount of mass per unit volume amount of mass will be there per unit per volume see this is the formula to identify the density mass by volume the amount of mass will be having per unit volume one side mass means one unit will be volume will present for that reason we will consider density mass by volume next temperature 
there are three scales in which temperature can be measured that is celsius fahrenheit and kelvin scale these are known as celsius scale fahrenheit scale and kelvin scale see here degree celsius degree fahrenheit and kelvin okay these are the letters which will designated in short form of these scales thermometers with celsius scale are calibrated from 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius okay if you see here celsius scale 0 to 100 range is present thermometers with fahrenheit scale are calibrated from 32 degree fahrenheit to 212 degree fahrenheit see here 32 degree to 212 degree fahrenheit okay and kelvin scale of temperature is si scale and is very common these days okay kelvin scale is very common in our uh, that uh, whatever the doctors il using nowadays or it is a common scale we are using to find out the temperature the temperature on the two scales are related to each other by the relationship how it will be related if they have given in a fahrenheit in the degree of fahrenheit you have to convert it by 9 by 5 into year degree celsius you have to put plus 32 okay if it is in a celsius you should if you want to convert it in fahrenheit you have to use this formula 9 by 5 into degree celsius plus 32 the kelvin scale is related to celsius scale as follows if they have given in celsius scale if you want to convert it in kelvin degree celsius plus 273.15 you should add that time you will get the how much kelvin of the temperature is present okay once again see this is kelvin scale 273 to 373 range is present this is celsius 0 to 100 degree this is fahrenheit 32 to 212 degree fahrenheit these are the absolute zero range okay next scientific notation it is the way of writing numbers that are too large or top small to the convenient written in standard decimal notation okay if the number is very large or very small that time it is having a uh, difficulty to find out the proper the whole number that's why we will use the scientific notation method a chemist has to deal with numbers as large as see this is the whole largest number you cannot write or the scientist cannot handle that complete number right it is too large for the molecules of 2 gram of hydrogen this is the complete 2 gram of hydrogen containing okay so you cannot remember the whole number of zeros here by counting this is the overall molecules of 2 gram of hydrogen or too small as see here 0 0.000 continuously 0 166 gram mass of hydrogen atom well, if it is too small also problem if it is too large is also problem that time they will use this notation n into 10 to the power of x also we can write or n also we can write n is any number between 1 and 10 but not 10 1 to 9 you cannot you can write anything okay what is this x x can be positive number or a negative number sometimes we will write like 6 into 10 to the power of 2 it may be positive also or 7 into 10 to the power of minus 3 also this x can be having positive sign also or negative sign also okay this is about the scientific notation this problem is solved by using scientific notation for such numbers that is exponential notation in which any number can be represented in the form of n into 10 to the power of n that's what i told n into 10 to the power of n when n is exponent having positive as negative values and n big n is number called digit term which varies between 1 to 9 it will not complete 9 it will be between range 1 and 9 okay see this part we'll call it as this is big n right that will be call it as coefficient this is 10 only so we'll call it as base this will be n call it as exponent okay 
This is the example of the scientific notation. Next, how to convert the scientific notation? If you are having 1484.268, okay, if you want to get in a positive way, you have to move points to left. Means if you want 1, 2, 3, if you want to move the decimal for the left side, you will get 10 to the power of 3. In a positive sign, you will get. See here, 1.484268 into 10 to the power of 3. You are moving the points to left side. Okay. See here, same, similarly, you are moving left side. Once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It means 10 to the power of 5 you will get. Same thing. How many times you will turn up to left? That much of time you should write on the above 10. But with a positive sign you have to write. When you are moving from left to right. See this is very small number. You should convert it into right side. That time 1, 2, 3. After 1 you are moving, putting a 1 decimal. So you will get 1.3. Six into ten to the power of minus four. Four times you are getting. Okay, then one, two, three, four. Here also one five is there. So one, two, three, four. Again one five. So minus five you will get with a negative sign. When the points are moving to left, which will be having positive sign. When the decimal point is moving to right it will be having negative sign. This is the conversion of scientific notation. Still you have how to do the addition, multiplication, division, subtraction. Okay. That time it will little bit varied. First we will see the multiplication and division. See here 5.6 into 10 to the power of 5 into 6.9 into 10 to the power of 8. Okay. You have to multiply. First you have to take this and this number. Later we will find the coefficient numbers. 5.6 into 6.9. In the multiplication you have to add this coefficient. Okay. 5 plus 8. It will take 10 to the power of 13. For this value it will come like this. 38.64 into 10 to the power of 13. If you want to take in a single point. Why you are taking in a single point? See this question is in after one digit the decimal is present that is why your solution should be after one digit only your decimal should be present. So what they are doing from right to left they are moving at the one digit you are moving so with a positive sign only you have to write ok. When it is having one digit of the decimal the your solution should be having should you should write in a one digit of the decimal only you should convert it the conversion I have showed in the previous slide. See, one moving, one de decimal is moving after one digit. So, you will get like this. Similarly, 9.8 into 10 to the power of minus 2 into 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 6. Same way, you have to multi multiply first these two digits. Then see here, minus 2, you have to add in multiplication plus minus 6. Minus into plus minus Again minus into minus plus but the greater sign is having minus so you have to put minus 8. Again I told after one digit only decimal point is present so you have to produce your answer in after the one digit only. So moving left. Since your minus sign is there you have to write minus sign with minus 7. Okay. We will see the division part 2.7 into 10 to the power of minus 3 by 5.5 into 10 to the power of 4. What you have to do? You have to divide these two. But when you are converting here to like denominator to numerator, you are putting, you have to, it will, the change will, the sign will be changed. Here plus 4 is present. When you are changed it to numerator, minus 4 will happen. What will happen? Minus 7. Minus into minus plus. So, minus 7 will get. Again, this is 0 0.4 is one digit only but it is small you are converting to right side. So what will happen? One addition will get with a negative sign. Okay. This is the 
technique of doing the scientific notation of multiplication and division. We will see addition. The scientific rule for a addition or subtraction is the result of addition or subtraction must be expressed with the same number of decimal places as the term carrying the smallest number of the decimal places. I have told how the question is present like that your decimal point should be present. If you are having 2 to 3 multiplication points, 2 to 3 addition points, whichever the smallest number digit place, that place you have to consider. You will understand here. See 35.3, 3.53, 0 0.353, you should multiply. How many significant decimal points here? Only one. It is the least point. Here 2, 3. You have to consider where the least decimal point is present. That you should convert it into your solution. Okay, after adding this, you will get 39.183. You should convert it into one digit place. So, 39.2. Why 39.2 means? Here, we will see the rounding off. If above 5 is there, 5 or above 5, you should make this number with one unit increasing. So, that is why 39.2. Similarly, 4632.0. 463.20, 35.843. Here also one digit is least. Your solution is 5131.043. You should convert it into one digit, right? So, 5131.0. Why they are not considering means? There is no need of considering. After digit, if the first digit 0 is only present, that is not significant. Okay. So, they are cutting this number and writing as such. Why means below 5 is present here. No need to increase one number. Next we will see the subtraction. Same thing what we have used in the addition rule. 583.35 minus 35.3. This is the least. Okay. You get, you will get the answer with the two decimal point. Means two after two digit decimal point. So, you have to convert it into one digit. How you are converting? Here 5 is present, so you have to increase one digit here. Okay. Similarly, the subtraction of two numbers can be done as shown below. Same thing 2.5 minus 4.8. This is a little bit different. You have to subtract these two. What they are doing? This scientific notation should be same. So they are converting this one to minus 2. Okay, what they did? 0 0.48 into 10 to the power of minus 2. After subtraction, you will get 2.02. The same scientific notation is present. So, as such, you are writing. What they are doing? If this notation exponents are different, you have to make it as same. Later, you have to subtract. Okay. Next, precision versus accuracy. Precision means it refers to the closeness of various me measurement for the same quantity, okay. For the same quantity, the many closeness measurements will be seen. That will be known as precise. What is accuracy? It is the agreement of a particular value to the true result. If it is a true result, they will be given right. For that result, whatever the accurate value will be present, means the near value for the true value that is accurate. The overall closeness of various measurements will call it as precise. See here, all the points, the middle range is the correct true result. What measured points will be in the one group? Means all the points reaching to the one group only. So, that point is accurate also, precise also. Okay. See here, this is a true value, but no point is near to true value. So, low accuracy but all the measurements are near to one another so it is precise okay here see high accuracy low precision why means this is true value means all are near true value that's why high accuracy but precise why means here one result here little bit distance is there here one here one here one here one so the distance between the all measure value is little bit far so low precise okay here low accuracy low precision why means this is the true value 
no one is near the true value and no precision also why means all the results are nowhere close to each other so low accuracy and low precision okay once again it refers to the closeness of various measurements for the same quantity here it is the agreement of particular value to the true of the result okay next data illustrate precision and accuracy this is another example if the true value is 2 gram this is the true value correct value but what the student will get measurements student a will get 1.95 student second trial will be getting measurement 1.93 average will be 1.94 okay what will happen here see these two results are close to one another 1.95 1.93 is close but not getting a true value that's why it is precise but not accurate okay next student b 1.94 2.05 the measurements only too far to each other what will happen this is result average is also 1.995 not precise and not accurate okay these two results only too far and that is not at all equivalent to true value also near to true value also so not precise not accurate when the student see we have seen 2.01 1.99 which is very near to one another and also near to true value also see if you get the average it will show 2.00 the exact true value so what will tell precise and accurate also next significant figures Significant figures are meaningful digits which are known with certainty. Okay, they are having certain numbers will be present. For that writing, you should have the they are giving they have given the rules. You have to follow those rules. All non-zero digits are significant. Okay, two eight five. This is not a zero number. So two eight five centimeter contain three significant figures. Zero point two five ml contain two. significant figure see non zero means completely no zero is present here so three significant figures if 0.25 means non zero means only non zero you have to consider then 25 is a two significant figures that is the first rule zeros preceding to first non zero digit are not significant such so zero indicates the position of decimal point See here, zero point zero zero three. Zero is preceding zero, so only we'll consider non-zero. That is one significant figure. See here also, zero is preceding zero. Zero is preceding zero. No need. That's why fifty-two. That is five two is two significant figures. Zeros between non-zero means these two are zero, but in between non-zero will be significant. Has four significant figure. See here also, it is in between two non-zero. It is again in between two non-zero. That's why six significant figures are present. Okay. First, again, I am telling all non-zeros are significant. Zeros preceding non-zero is only having one significant figure. Zeros between non-zero is significant. Later. Zeros at the end or right of the number are significant, provided they are on the right side of the decimal point. If the right side of the decimal point is present, that time we have to consider. See here, two point zero point two zero zero. That time we have to consider that it is a significant. But the terminal zeros are not significant. Completely terminal zeros, if they are producing, there is no significant. Okay, see here. Has only one significant figure, but hundred have three significant figures. Hundred point zero have four significant figures. Such numbers are represented in scientific notation. You have to be very careful here. Here only one. After decimal, you have to consider. Again, without the decimal, you should not consider. Counting numbers of objects. Two balls or twenty eggs have infinite significant figures as these exact numbers and can be represented by writing infinite numbers or zeros after placing a decimal. See here, you should if it is a two, 
these complete zeros are not needed. After 20, this is also non-significant figures. Before the decimal only, they will consider this one and this one, okay. Next rounding off. This rounding off, I have told you in the addition and multiplication, division, subtraction, all the kinds of methods. We will see the rules. If the rightmost digit to be removed is more than 5, the preceding number is increased by 1. See here 1.386. If you want to remove this part, if this is more than 5, then you have to add or increase by 1. That is why 1.39. If the rightmost digit to be removed is less than 5, if the more than 5 means you have to increase 1. If the less than 5 means the preceding number will not change. See 4.334. If you want to change this one or this one, it not change, it will not change, it will as such. If the right mode digit is removed, is 5 only, then the preceding number is not changed. It is even number, but it is increased by 1 if it is an odd number. If this number is 5 only, if this is the odd number, then you have to add with 1 digit, 1 increase 1. If this is an even number, no need to add up for this. If the removing number is only exact 5, preceding number if it is an odd number you should increase by 1. That is why 3 is an odd number we have increased by 1. If it is an even number no need to increase by 1. You have to write as such. 2 is an even number we have written 2 as such. These are the rules for rounding up of the numbers. Okay. I hope you have understood what I have completely taught today. So, in the next class. We will discuss about dimensional analysis, laws of chemical combination, atomic mass, molecular mass and formula mass. So students, I hope you have completely understood what we have discussed today. So thank you so much and for the further videos, so keep on watching. Thank you. <laughs>